Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome. This is Darlene, and I will start your reading very, very quickly here tonight. I was in a bit of a hurry. I was trying to uh, get this done. I've just had a busy day, and I wanted to get it done tonight. So um, I went ahead and shuffled because y'all know I'm not a fast shuffler, and I like to do flyers. So I went ahead and shuffled beforehand. I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, so at least I can get your reading out to you. Otherwise, it's going to be another two days. So, um, if you like my readings, you know the drill. Please hit that like button and subscribe. And I am very close, y'all, to getting my first 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I'm a newbie. So when I get to 1,000, I'm going to go live and I will be able to answer your questions if you want me to do a real quick read on you. So be sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you will get notified. All right, now, um, what else? Oh, let, yes, I do have other kinds of readings, by the way. I am doing Scorpio readings, Twin Flame readings, and I have a long playlist of deceased loved ones reading so please check that out if that is of interest to you okay enough business out of the way now um oh no i do have one more piece of business you want to hear this one though <laughs> so what i want to start doing is at the um at the end no, i'm going to make an announcement at the end of this video about something that i'm going to be doing a, a free reading giveaway so stay tuned to the end and hopefully I'll rem remember to make that announcement before I click off this video okay that's it now your person I ask what's going on with your person in their life and this is what we've got now I don't know if this is your person could be you or somebody they're dealing with so let me just say um, that this reading is not for everybody if it's not your story please don't make it try to make it fit it's just not maybe the next one I do will be <clears throat> and if I refer to gender it's there's no gender in tarot it's just because that's what's on the card okay now the Queen of Wands in reverse is not a happy person she's shallow she's angry she's a bit of a bitty I'm saying that nicely she can be controlling and self-centered, shallow. So we don't like that. We don't, she's not my fondest queen in the upright, much less in the reverse. So this um, could be somebody that your person is dealing with here. And your person is feeling very overwhelmed by this. This can mean like dropping, I'm so overwhelmed, I can't carry everything. I can't juggle everything anymore. I'm just overwhelmed. Um, and the moon card in reverse is telling me because there's something that's being illuminated, something that's come to light. Um, this could be fears that there are the, the, the more fears coming into fruition here or into a manifestation rather. That could be what that means. But something is coming to light. Something has come to the light. And it's a very heavy burden for this person. You know, this is, again, another card of overwhelmed. I'm at the end of my journey. I don't know if I can carry these wands in one more step here. Your person is assessing, what have I done? You know, it's like this is that, to me, sometimes this is the card of divine timing, but I feel like with these cards, it's telling me your person's having a woulda, shoulda, coulda moment. What have I invested in? This is planting seeds for the future. What have I done? That's what I hear from this card. Oh my, what have I done? So I don't know who they're dealing with back here, but again, I'm asking what your person's dealing with. This uh, page of wands in reverse can be communication that goes wrong. Uh, you know, it's, it's just bad communication or uh, miscommunication it, you know it's just so I, I assume this is again who your person is dealing with over here and they are not communicating well at all because plans now have been um, scuttled as it were there were plans that have been delayed or didn't come to pass at all 
and probably because of the same energy. So it's interesting, I've got this whole row and I got a bookend of almost the same energy. The emperor is someone who is, um, he can, it's like somebody who abuses their power. He can be very controlling, um, greedy even. So this is not a happy situation that your person is dealing with. So I don't know if this is somebody at work or family member or what either or, or if they're with somebody a partner they're dealing with. I don't know, but it does not look happy. Uh, and then at the bottom of the deck, I I have to always turn it over and consider these cards. These tell more of the story. They are very feeling very confused right now. And I ask what's going on with your person as it relates to Scorpio. That was the question I asked. So they're very confused. I think they don't know what to do. They're, they're so wrapped up in trying to deal with this energy on their side. They're very confused. <clears throat> they want to bring this cup of love. They, it's telling me they do have feelings for you for certain. But they're, again, this Ace of Swords, this can be it can be fighting it can be two people fighting it can definitely be bad communication um and to me sometimes it's just more you know untruths as i've said before untruths is um not a word you hear often but that that's the energy i get from that card sometimes your person may be feeling under so much stress they may be drinking too much this is uh, or somebody's trying to apologize and they're not accepting it or they're trying to apologize and somebody's not accepting it that could be also but oftentimes it's in reverse it can be somebody overindulging because of what because they love you and but they're over here dealing with this situation there is love for you clearly this is the lovers they know this is what i think the confusion is about so whatever situation they're in they know you are their soulmate you're they love you but and they're having sleepless nights about it this is anxiety you know that late night i can't sleep no matter what i do tossing and turning anxiety who i take this to be your person um now your person because i don't like that he's in reverse and she's in reverse but that may be part of the story if your person is with someone else in another relationship that would make sense given this story that they're both in reverse here because you know she's nasty he's nasty you know when he's in reverse and there's a lot of remorse and regret here sadness i got i got morose when i first saw this card about um you know again this is some kind of communication and maybe this could tell me about what they want their happiness to be. Maybe your person has told this person, if there is someone else they're dealing with or whoever else they're dealing with, that um, they want to go toward their ten of cups. They want to bring. They want to take this horse and ride him fast to communicate that they want to bring an offer to what they believe is their true ten of cups, and they're making plans. They are making plans to do um, that. And I could be very tempted to go deeper, but I'm not. Because I want to ask, I mean, I did ask rather, what, your, what kind of actions your person might take. So that's what I've got laid out here. So it's interesting up here, the Seven of Pentacles is in the upright. And on this row, it's in the reverse. So this tells me this is wasted resources i've looked at my seeds i've planted and i realized they have been wasted i you know in other words i've wasted my time and energy and probably money in this situation i want it to end i want justice this can also be you know a legal situation <clears throat> i want justice to go toward <clears throat> a new beginning a brand new beginning this is the divine offering them a new start here uh, but they have to end something over here for that to happen. And it is a very, very heavy burden. We have the Ten of Wands twice here. But Tens are the end. So it tells me they're trying 
they're at the end of this they're trying to lay this down so that they can finally find balance in their life again. And now we have the King of Wands in the upright. Yes, that's what we want. Um, because, you know, he's, he's, he's not a bad king. He's not my favorite king. But, you know, he's, he's, not, he's a very different person when he's in the reverse. So I, I don't want to be around him. <laughs> I definitely don't. And now we have the nine. So th they're telling me... Um, What's behind that? Yeah. Now, I, I felt a sudden shift of energy because I think they want to find balance. So this king, your king, your person, again, gender's not relevant. Your person want, is, is looking to come to you to bring this offer, and they're afraid you're going to put a wall up. Because I felt a shift right after I looked at that king. There was like a shift in the energy in the deck. Now they're talking about you. Bringing you an offer here, but they're afraid your wall's going to be up. But they're willing to fight one more good fight. This is the wounded warrior. I think I've got one more fight in me. If Scorpio won't put a wall up. Um, yeah, they're afraid. I think they're afraid they're gonna, you're going to turn them down. But, they, but they're also telling me, but they're still at the tail end of this because I don't like that we went from the Ten of Wands back to the Nine of Wands. Um, they're telling me that they still have a little bit more to learn. They can't bring this offer yet because they're still juggling. They have, you know, again, twice we've got the Two of Pentacles. They're juggling. This could be they're juggling because of money too. I'm overwhelmed. I'm just, I can't, you know, can't keep all those balls in the air anymore and so it's causing a tower moment in my life um, now this you know the tower moment is not always a bad card I always like to remind y'all of that but in this case I think it really it is because of what's underneath it the devil <clears throat> so the tower happens when a foundation is weak and faulty and it needs to come down to be leveled and dealt with so that it can be built either together or with somebody else that you can rebuild your life and that's what i feel like is happening here divine this is a divine intervention this is you know something you have no control over so a tower is happening for your person to help release them from this toxic energy in the upright the devil is being restricted it's being held back it's toxic energy it's a could be addictions, obsessions, no telling what. But in the reverse, it means being released from that. So the t it's telling me the tower is happening so that your person can be released from that toxicity. And finally, come this can be you, uh, Scorpio, the Queen of Pentacles. It can also mean that so that they can get their life back in balance and become this kind of energy where they can get their money straight and they can have stability again and they can you know but this could tell me they want to come to not they don't want to deal with the queen of wands in reverse they want to deal with an upright queen of pentacles somebody who's um dependable and nurturing and kind and got her act together and you know takes care of her kids <laughs> that kind of thing um and again, I've got this emperor in reverse. Again, I don't like that, but he's. I, but I do feel this could be telling me that this is what they want to do. They want to get their life together to do that, but this is what they're dealing with. Again, that's just reiterating. That's what they're dealing with. Somebody who's controlling, um, <sighs> manipulative, of course, controlling, self-centered, attention-seeking. That's the emperor in reverse to me. That they're trying to, uh, you know, deal with it. You know, that deck and this deck, we've got the Five of Cups. It's caused a lot of hurt and sadness in their life. They're, this is what they're feeling like right now. They're hurting. And they're, so they're going within. They're keeping themselves to themselves. They're reflecting. They're trying to connect with divine guidance and look for inspiration because they're tired of fighting this. I mean, they, they just... They want to let their wall down. They are tired of fighting it. Um, and maybe they want to, um, they could even want reconciliation, but this is sometimes, not always, but it could be making amends. That's what I get from this today. This could be making amends because they don't want to struggle and fight. 
anymore because why because they want to go after their star they want to go after their dreams and wishes and hopes yep that's what i get okay my beautiful scorpios thank you for tuning in i hope this brings you some comfort and a little insight a peek into your person and what there's they're dealing with it's not easy for them right now they've really they really got it especially with that tower and the devil showing up so um say a little prayer for them <clears throat> they um could use some positive energy because i don't i don't don't get the sense that you're necessarily in communication with them so uh send them a little positive energy and um you know say a prayer for them now i promised you at the end i would make an announcement so here's what i want you to do if you'd like a free um little mini read i will do that at uh, next week on the Scorpio love reading so one week from today I typically release these on Wednesdays but you have to put your name in the comment and say my name is so-and-so I'd like a free reading next week so you have to comment in this video tell me your name because I need to know that and your question and that you'd like a free reading if you put that in the comments then next week I will pick one randomly and whoever that person is I will at the end of the reading I will pull a few cards for you and answer your question all right well thank you all so much for being here I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see y'all again soon be sure and show me a little love and hit that like button on the way out thank you all bye bye